Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. I'm walking because I don't have a car. <laughs> I don't have a car because I flew halfway across the state to go and buy a car. And uh, I'm usually very thorough. I'm extremely thorough, but I messed up. I trusted someone. It's just odd because uh, I usually have problems with that. But uh, anyway, I flew up here to Dallas to uh, check out a vehicle, which was a very good price. And I trusted the person. They said nothing was wrong. And I had them verify, you know, the dash and everything. Well, they deceived me. <laughs> when, I, when I got to go and check out this vehicle, it said that all four tires were low, which they weren't, I checked. And then it said uh, there's an exclamation point next to the mileage. <laughs> and then the airbag light was on. And uh, also the traction control said that it was off or that there was a problem with the traction control. So obviously I shook my head and I, I, was, I was pretty pissed, <laughs> I'll admit. But, uh, Anyway, so I'm probably flying back home, uh, back to Houston tomorrow, uh, because I, I went and looked at a couple different cars, and up here in Dallas, there's a lot of people that are very dishonest. And uh, yeah, I, I flew up here to go and buy a very special car that was gonna be a surprise for someone, and uh, come to find out, they, they lied outright about it. So, and, and you know, if you don't know, in Texas, if you have any um, indicator lights on your vehicle, they have to be fixed before you can get the vehicle certified for the state. So it's gonna cost thousands of dollars. So anyway, I stranded up here in Dallas because of some dishonesty. And I will never make that mistake again. And that's why I'm making this video. Because before you guys ever do something like invest time, energy, and money into going and maybe doing something from an online sale, especially when it's a vehicle. Have them power it up and view it. View the dash with a video before you say, okay. So in other words, have them get in the car, put the key in, and turn it on and start the car while you record the dash so you can see any lights that might pop up because they are disingenuous on purpose. Um, and, and they thought that they were gonna kind of stick me here to which I said, hell no. <laughs> so uh, guys, it just is what it is. But uh, normally I don't trust people. And this time here, when they said nothing was wrong and they showed me a picture of the dash, I, I took the word for it. From now on, I will always ask for a video of the vehicle starting up so that I get to see any errors or whatnot that pop up, any irregularities before I ever buy plane tickets again. So guys, I hope you guys all learn from my mistakes. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. I know I will. <laughs>